Travis Bacon. <laughs> What's up, dude? Where, Where the fuck have you been? Where have I been? Where have you, you been? You do Uncle John show. You try to tell me you're sick. What have you been doing? Jeez. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I got some. I got some elbow pain. Hold on. Oh, hold <laughs> on. I got a little bit of elbow pain. Let me fix this right quick. I'm confused. Who produced this? Easy. Easy. Don't interrupt. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right out of the great state of, whoa, watch it, watch it, watch it. The great state of Oregon. Okay. First of all, hey, this is not approved by the FDA. Do not let you that stop you. You you have you have messed the pooch. You do realize that, right? What did you say? My elbow is feeling so much better. Okay, this is serious <laughs> business. Put your product down. Hold up. Bam! <laughs> Dude, listen. Listen. Bam! This, <laughs> right there. this, is right. really this is really important to talk about. First of all, Shout out to Combat Arm Sports. This guy has sent me a hundred tables over the last three years. Combat Arm Sports. I don't seem to think you realize what you've done. Dude, listen, this is important. <laughs> <laughs> What's so, up? Because, because Where the we've fuck talked have about. You been? Where have you been? Listen, okay, before. Have you been uh, doing what, arm bets and that bullshit with Devin? <laughs> My God. We, hold on. The new it? app is coming. The new app is coming. Oh, my God. There are so many things to talk about right now. First of all, <laughs> we have to cover our first, our first major sponsor. There Jamie it is. Sheldon the and first, fit. No, no. This is the first sponsor. <laughs> Fuck are you talking about? I sold this guy this knowing that he would be the first sponsor. Jamie, thanks for being the second sponsor of the show, bro. How much money did we get? Yeah, we'll talk about that off. off uh, no, no, off no, 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 no. Let's let. We got to let Bill Collins. We got to fill Bill Collins in right now. I don't want no beef. I don't want no beef. All right, no. What's up? <laughs> okay. So Jamie Sheldon is our first official sponsor. Because no. Second. Second. Second, second official second. sponsor because yes. he has a tattoo of Arm TV, and I changed the logo to a more modernized. And uh, I don't want to upset Jamie, so I brought him on as official sponsor. Wow. Yeah, he has a tattoo, wow. bro. I know that, but then you changed the logo? I didn't. We Well, let's just put it out there right now. John Bergeson Jr., you're the third sponsor. <laughs> you're the third sponsor. Here's the thing. Dude. If you want to talk about, like, T-shirt sales, why not be able to sell the vintage logo and then sell the new, the new logo? I've got it all figured out. Bill Collins can have exclusive rights to Jamie's tattoo logo, but not the new one. Not the new one. <laughs> okay, listen, dude. You first of all, Jamie uh, Natfit since 2017, he's got big plans for the sport of arm wrestling. 2021, we're glad to have him on board. He's got over 20 different products that uh, range from you know kids to old people. So check it out, Jamie Shellen, Natfit. Bam. 
dude, Beast Bud, you've listen. Let's you have no idea further. how, how let's much. Let's go further. Up. Jamie did not want to be the second sponsor, and for you to give him that introduction, what he paid for was for the Beast to say, "Welcome aboard, Jamie. We love you. The community." loves you we do not just because you have arm tv tattoo he's a genuine good dude they don't make him any better than that dude i like but his the, wife i like his wife a little bit more than i like him he but uh, i do like him so on uncle john he's he put on uncle john was the first one to post the logo Outside of tell me again, who is Uncle John? <laughs> you know, who Uncle John is what do you? Oh, oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay, go ahead. He's the one who made kick ass, he's so good at those memes when he was building up for your show and he put the Darth Vader with the Travis face. <laughs> he's like, I am your daddy. <laughs> it was so, it's so good. It's so good. And then yeah. with you, with the Mount Rushmore stuff, oh my God, this is classic, classic business. But dude, I got to talk more about how And to this right oh, here. You, you've messed up, dude. This is an explosive this is the most expl <laughs> I thought that steroid stuff was explosive, but you, this is explosive right here. This episode right here could change everything. Oh my God, this is great. I, I can't believe everything that's happened right here, right now. Dude, you have no idea. Okay, so because we've talked about stuff before it's actually happened, Guess whose idea the Beast Bud was? I mean, are you trying to tell me that this was your idea? No, I'm trying to oh, tell you sure. that our, I'm trying to tell you that Gabriel in Hawaii, it was his idea to make it. Well, he said listen, he wanted to make it. And first then and you're foremost, saying, first and foremost, I have never met Gabriel ever. Have right. you talked to him? No. I've been talking to him. I have text or emailed with him, right? He, he's and, the one who brought up the Beast Bud. Oh, he brought up the Beast Bud to you and to, I guess, the YouTube channel. Is that correct? I, I In your so. opinion, in your opinion, right? Yeah, but when you, when you said However, you were, no, if no, no. you really, really <laughs> knew what the fuck you were talking about, you would know that the word beast bud has been in my vocabulary and talked about for going on 12 years now. So well, when you were, when you were, no, pause, this has a, this has a kicker that you I love it coming. Okay. When you said you were working on beast bud and I was like, Oh, congratulations. I thought you were working on beast bud with Gabriel in Hawaii. Ah, so when you, so when you, you said yeah. you were working on it, and I thought this whole right. time you were working on it with him. So I've been chatting with him. When you messaged me, what Let's the fuck the other night? Let's be completely honest. Let's be completely honest. When and even currently, the beast bud that you are referring to and that Gabriel is referring to has still never been made. However, I know I thought they were making it. I thought they no, were no, it has still never been made and it's not going to be made until someone makes it. However, Beast CBD has been alive and well now. CBD, the Beast Bud you're referring to, I would imagine, is the cannabis THC version of the beast bud, which would be illegal in the state of West Virginia currently. So that's why I can't, that's why it's not a actual product yet. However, CBD is very legal in the state. I of West thought Virginia. he was CBD. He may be CBD too, but I'm just letting you know that the beast bud that. Yeah. Cause he's, we were all he's, discussing. 
yeah, but he's I think he's medicinal too. My point is, dude, this Good. is not even Good. Listen, no, Great. listen. Listen, <laughs> Go he ahead. said so when I went on Uncle John and I said that somebody was perhaps interested in sponsoring your version of the reality show where you go and uh, take on peeps and they meet you at the border and that sort yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love it, love it. He's the one who expressed interest. So I hope that by you making well, this better tell him else, to get in line. Tell him to get in line because the shit is happening. Well, what I'm telling you is I hope you didn't upset him by making Beast Bud with somebody else without conferring to him because from what I saw, it was his if idea. He knows, if he knows anything, he would know that if him and I were to come to any sort of agreement for Beast anything, it would take more than 24 hours to make it a reality. Yeah, my point is the this whole thing, time This I thing's been on going show, on. Yeah, this thing's been going on for two years. You've been working on that for two years? I've been working on Beast CBD for two years. So then when he posted, I want to make Beast Bud on the chat. Yeah, he wanted to make to marijuana. And so do I. But it's just not legal and I don't know how to do it. I don't, I'm conv I don't think it's marijuana. I think it's medicinal because. Well, gr I, we well what check. do you mean okay. medicinal? What is a, What do you mean by medicinal? I, he has, I got, I got to look it up. I don't know. Okay. About yeah, I know because yeah, he, I want to make he, it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> we are that, still rolling. We're rolling with Gabriel. <laughs> I can't wait to roll with Gabriel. We're just okay, not okay, going to okay. roll in the CBD department. We're going to roll in the real department. <sighs> or maybe just the seeds, maybe just the seeds department, which would be a great too. Okay. <laughs> we are ready to roll. <laughs> Okay, so then I've got <laughs> there's two things. <laughs> don't be mad because I suppose oh, don't be mad. Don't be mad <laughs> that I'm a jackass. Don't What'd be you do mad. What you oh. do now? Dude, well, okay. <laughs> Last weekend, yes, okay. I was not feeling well. You called me on Sunday, but then you do disappeared. Not re do not rehearse to the public. I'm Our not trying. Okay. Well, Your what ass I'm, dropped the fucking ball. No, what I'm, I'm pick, saying. I'm picking it up right now with our first sponsor right there. It is. I just said, dude, tonight, tonight, today yeah. is Monday. Okay. Tonight, okay. I okay. had a, sp <laughs> because I couldn't find you, ah! I did a special <laughs> No, serious. It's true. <laughs> I did a special uh, guest, oh, Beast okay. Bud guest. I mean, not Beast Bud. I'm God, uh, God damn. God damn. <laughs> Who did you get? Somebody I, I really a, hate? <laughs> I did a Beast of the Day, and I had the, him do his Travis impression. Ah. Okay. And I had Derek Smith on because he just arm wrestled Devin, and I wanted to talk to How'd him about do? How'd he do? How'd he do? How'd he do? I thought we did awesome. So we got two two chapters out of it. Are you is it on Beauty and the Beast? Tonight will be the first chapter. Is it on is it on Beauty and the Beast? I had a show and I had him oh, good. pretend it's he good. was hey. you. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Do that every time you can't find me. Are you shitting me? Keep the ball rolling. That's yes. what I'm saying. That's what oh, okay. I did. Yeah, I'm not upset at all. I'm not upset at all. Let's You're not upset. Oh, I love it. I love it. Because I, I was like, what? I can't yeah, find no, Travis, so I'll. Perfect. I'm going to do one with someone else and say I can't find you one day. And they'll. I'm going to see if I can find anyone that wants to play you. <laughs> this will be awesome. <laughs> and before that... I go any further. Let me make sure that you understand that we have a new product and a first sponsor of our show. So you're saying, uh, Mr. Sean McClellan, my, my garbage can competitor, is the producer? No. No? He isn't. Nope. But he knows a guy who knows the guy that produces. Oh, I'm so confused because I thought he put a social media post that said working on Beast Bud or something. Yeah, okay. he's working. Okay, 
we're we're building a squad. A we squad. have we have a, we have a problem. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Jesus, fuck! You are riddled with problems. I am rolling. No, you are rolling. riddled with problems. No, listen, oh, listen, listen. Okay, what's the problem now? Dude, it's been a while since we've talked. Okay. Oh, I forgot to add. Oh, my God. Oh, see, I almost skipped a part. I thought perhaps. Okay, so we had that Tom Nelson. Tell me fight. that you didn't go into a whole conspiracy and then do a bunch of things about the conspiracy that you thought had happened, right? No, what I'm saying is, are you suing suing me? Are you are you suing? I thought the timing of you disappearing after Tom Nelson was funny because I got some messages from Tom Nelson and he didn't find your version of the story very funny. Well, (laughs) it's hilarious about Tom. For some reason, (laughs) the cop, the judge, the victim never see it exactly the way Tom saw it. (laughs) For some reason, his whole life it's been like that. My point is, is Tom Nelson, I have to go on record because uh, Tom was pretty upset about it. He's, I was like, whoa. Oh, well, hold up. Like, Make sure how- that I take, let me take this opportunity right now to say, fuck Tom Nelson. No, I no. I don't give you- a fuck if he's upset. No, no. Fuck you need out to, of here with that. You need to say something nice about Tom Nelson. You did. Uh, you say something nice. This guy, I said, oh, his dude, entire I didn't... family tree tried to scratch my eyes out. Are you crazy? I took this whole time that this was arm wrestling related, and he's like, has deep anger towards you. He's I a don't know. weirdo. I, I cannot believe. I did. I told him. Okay, I, I didn't know this was going to touch such nerves. So say something nice about Tom Nelson so we can move on. And I, I, Tom Nelson is the best arm wrestler in the Sacramento area <laughs> that there is. He's okay, the king for people of- out there who follow the show. Perhaps there might have been some, I'm not saying there was, but perhaps there was some embellishment in this story to make it more funny, which I'm totally cool with because I love funny. Who would, hey, every single thing that I said on that is completely true. And Tom Nelson would like to set the record straight that it didn't go exactly like that. And I said to Tom, I said, I have a feeling that your version is far too serious and not fun at all. No, and I'm like, it would I'm be like, I want, I'm like, I enjoy the fun, the fun. I said, I was having yeah. funny. Like, I don't, that's not funny. And so I thought Tom was in on the fun. He doesn't seem no. to be in on the fun. So Tom we'll, should get his own YouTube channel and go hard. That's what he should do. I don't give a fuck about Tom Nelson. I don't care what he says. Ever. Oh, ever, yeah. never, ever, ever. Do you, you understand? Are crazy. Okay. Yes, a psycho. Now, now that now, okay, now that we got that out with second, I got a phone call from somebody who I am, I know I told you, I told you we were going to talk about this, but you may have forgotten. What do you think I'm going to bring up? Oh shit. I don't know. I have no idea, man. You're crazy. Who knows? Dude, Devin Larrick, Devin Larrick called me. Dude, I've been trying to get a hold of Devin Larrick. All of a sudden he's acting like a weirdo. Is it because of you? He called me and he said, dude, is Travis, so this whole time, when I when I put on the comments, arm bet lift, and you're like ba ba ba, I thought you were just joking. I was like, dude, you're I've just been playing. working you're on just that. I've been working fun. on this for seven years. No, you know this is lie, lie, lie. <laughs> what are you talking lies, about? Lies. Oh I will God, show you, you the fabric. emails. I will show. I want to see it because. Devin Lyric called me. Now, listen, I'm a fan of Travis. Man, shut the I'm fuck a fan. up, man. Stop. No, I'm I a, don't give I'm a, a fan fuck. Of, 
I don't care. So I got- am I. So am I. I don't give a fuck about your love and loyalty to any of those scumbags in this world. Okay. Scum. I don't care. Listen. I don't care. I'm not saying he's a scumbag. I'm just telling you that you have friends. I, you know how many friends that I have who think that you are a motherfucking psychopath and have and listened, I, have texted I get me that. and said, and said, disassociate, please disassociate the brand from Gary Roberts. And you know what I tell them? I love Gary Roberts. I and don't I, care. And I, I get care. I get that my I reactions. I do not care about what you do. Is one of those friends I Dave Morocco? You. Is of one of those course. friends? I love Dude, Dave what? Morocco. Dave he's Morocco. A weirdo. But he's a, a business weirdo. person. I have nothing yeah. but positive things to say about Dave Morocco. Of all the people Dave who think Morocco. that I'm just about the month. Dave yeah. Morocco Dave surprised Morocco me because I loved him. Dave Morocco says five things a week. He says, and he has three of them. He has to apologize. He called me yesterday and said, hey, Weasel, if you don't get that money back that you owe me, I'm going to beat you up. And I said, yo, call me back in 20 minutes. He called me back. He said, hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm like, yo, you just called me. He said you was going to beat me up. Oh, no, I was just kidding. It's well, he blasted good. me oh. on Facebook that I'm all about the money. That's Weirdo. Like, it's weird. It's like Weirdo. Even, yeah. even, 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 let's go far and say I was about the money. Of all people, Dave Morocco, you would know that it takes hard work. You don't get to success. Dave Morocco does not work. work hard. He makes a shitload of money, though. Yeah, but, but he, he had to on the phone. He had, he had to Never. work hard to get that. Never. I know him. He is the luckiest dude in the world. He doesn't lift weights and he squats 500 pounds. He is a average parent, just like me, yet his kids are fucking studs. He, he, he doesn't even look that good. His wife is hot. Okay? We're talking about the luckiest guy in the world, except for me. What? He's the same. Anyways, my yeah. point is, I don't... People... What really annoys me about this whole thing is the people I considered like friends or like I was tight with back 10 years ago to act like this on. I get when people I don't know you, me. I told you that Alex is a good guy. They felt you were jumping on their Mexican buddy and trying to deport him. That's why they jumped time because he's a good dude. Right. I get that. He's a good dude. Even Back though he de- jacked, even though he jacked the arm TV <laughs> thumbnail for a couple of years, knowing exactly what he was doing, he's still a good. My guy. point is, Devin Laird called me, and it, the the sound of his voice was like, "Is is Travis serious? He really would." And I'm yeah. asking you to not be serious. You cannot be serious. One arm bet. One. This is not Uber and Lyft. One. Man, one listen, app. One the app. Travis Bajan app is coming. I'm telling you right now. It. I can't support what, that. What, what? Don't support it. I didn't ask you to support it. I did not ask you. We will not run any ads on Unfiltered. We will not run any ads on Arm TV. You are not allowed to be a member. You are not allowed to be a member. However, I will be a member of Arm Bets eventually. And I will support every single thing that Devin does for the rest of his life. And I will support you no matter what. Listen, if you put a shout out to some programmers out there and I'm putting a shout out to you. Pro- any of you peeps in the arm wrestling community, if you're helping him <laughs> screw Devin over, why am I asking you oh, to whoa, whoa. seriously reconsider? That's a serious allegation. Well, what do you know, mean by screwing someone over? Meaning there's so let everyone there's room for everyone to host events. Like if you want to host an event, I'm not going to say why you're is there room? Bob. Why is there room for everyone to do a YouTube channel? 
there's room for everyone to throw a tournament. But for some ungodly fucking reason, no one can do an app, even though there's an app for opening your eyelids in the morning now. Everybody's got one. I'm getting ready to have one. If you go create the app from scratch, that'd be different. If you go in and you try to copy his app, that's shady. I'm not going to copy one thing from him at all. I'm just going to make sure that I let people know that they can meet up in arm wrestle and I'm going to have some GPS locators on there. It's going to be kind of like, like a, like a dating site. If what's he doing, I don't even know what's he doing. I have not one time looked at arm bets. Not yeah, once. but you, whoever you had as a programmer would look at arm bet. I don't, I will tell them, do not look at arm bet. If you look at arm bet, the deal's off. Anybody that looks at arm bet, it deals off. Got you. And I'm going to tell you another thing. I'm, I got the next story is Leonard Denise. Okay. The next hold on. story is Leonard and Denise. Hold on. I'm telling you, Devin Larrett, he says he wants to help rising tides lift all ships. And he says, I want to bring everyone on board. I want everyone to succeed. I'm saying Travis Bajan would do better to just get on board. To I completely ships. appreciate your opinion and your insight. I will put that in my Rolodex and work that out. No problem. But don't get it twisted. I will never listen to you. Ever. And I know that you will never listen to me because you have your own life and your own shit to do. But please keep in mind that I am going all the way. I'm going all the way. So, like you said, I've had people call. You've said people have called me disassociated with Gary Roberts. Yeah, psycho. It's crazy. I've had people call me and say, oh, "Of course, don't trust Travis. Don't trust Travis." And I'm like, "Listen, yeah. I." You should I tell them like, that you are winning the Travis Bajan Exchange Fund. Out of all the people in the world that have lost in that exchange, meaning they have done more for me than I have done for them. You, my friend, are on the other end of that stick, okay? You owe me way more than I owe you, but I didn't and, hand you anything. I love you. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not saying that. I'm not talking about okay. that. I'm talking about- I just want to make sure no, no, no. that you tell any person that has anything to say like that, just say, my man, I would love to be, for Travis to be in my pocket. I would love to have money that anybody could dive in my pocket and fucking get some of it. But at no, this my, point in my you're career, my point. me you're and Travis, my point. for the last 20 years, I'm winning. Just you're missing sure you my point. No, you're missing my point. I just want to, I'm trying to give you the explanation. I know, but the you're missing my point. Come my me. point is, is that I would like, I, anyone who says like, Oh, but Travis is Travis. I say, I love Travis like a brother. I would like to think that by my involvement with Travis, that I could help him be a better person. Meaning that sometimes you do the right thing versus, let's say, the money thing. Like the Devin thing. Like what is the right thing to do versus what is the... So I would like to have some sort of influence on you as you age and become a more mature man to do what is good in the world. That's why I would love to stay involved so I could say, look, Travis is, he's, he's, uh, he's making the right decision versus let's say the money of motivated decision. Anyways, that's, and I would like to have him. I want you to know that I have given up any hope of influencing you to not making rash spur of the moment decisions. <laughs> there was one time in my life when I thought he would never do that because <laughs> he hears the calm voice explaining to him the strategy of what he should do. But after countless times of failing miserably, 
I have given up on trying to influence you in being better, more, more able, prepared warrior to go into the battle. So okay. I have keep that I, in mind too. Since we've spoken, since you called me and you're like, what the F are you doing? Are you blowing up our, are you re- destroying the whole, I have relaxed. I've come to terms with what is going on. I've, I'm, I've, no, I've no, been... no, 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 no. I told you before you went crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do not, please, <laughs> do not do any of that stuff you are thinking. I mean, maybe you said the that. tape. May- My God, <laughs> please. Maybe stop. you said that. <laughs> do not maybe do you any said of that. that. Yet. No, you no, no. Did it. Not only I know. did you do it, but keep in mind, I did not flinch. No, I know, but I'm saying then because you, you know called why? me after. Then I you called, called you after, after to reiterate, my man. Yeah, yeah. I wish you wouldn't have did that because every <laughs> fucking single thing that I told you is happening. <laughs> I no, I I get that. Not I wasn't saying you but didn't. Warn I me. did not judge. I did not judge. I I'm given up. I've given up on you actually doing the stuff. I'm an I'm emotional. Cat, I'm I just... love you. I love you unconditionally, okay. Okay. regardless okay. of all your shortcomings. <laughs> okay, okay. I love oh. you too. Okay, did you watch the Devin Lair and Michael Todd match? Yes. We hope you like the content. Thanks for stopping by. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Now click that little bell icon so you get notified. This was Gary. Travis Bajan live. Damn it. Do something else. Don't ever say them two names to me.